Nicole Brazier here with nominee Eric Olson tonight for Man in the High Castle. Now, this is your second time being at the USC Scripture Awards. Uh, this is my first time here. Really? But you were nominated last year. Uh, well, the show was, yes. But this is my first personal nomination, and I joined in season two. So I'm uh, very excited to be here and this beautiful library and uh, surrounded by people that I can't believe I'm on the same list as they are. Oh, please. Well, you guys did win the Emmy, too, right? The 2016 primetime. That's got to be a huge success. Well, the, 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 we, had a couple, uh, we had a couple wins in, in cinematography, and, and, but, but not, not for script yet. So. Not for script, but winning yeah, is fingers, winning. Right? Fingers crossed, yes. Good for you. Now, this is uh, season three for your series, right? Uh, uh, the season three is writing now, but we, this is for actually for season two. So uh, we just had our, uh, our drop on December 16th. Uh, all 10 episodes went up at once on Amazon Prime. So uh, uh, yeah, check it out. Now Sundance did really grab on um, amazingly with Netflix and Amazon. Do you think that going forward with writing, that you're going to keep this in mind? Because you're writing now for an Amazon uh, TV series, but do you think that this is like where we're headed now in these times, and you're just going to always keep this in mind for future projects? Well, yes. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a fascinating time to be a television writer, not just because of the explosion of quality television now, but but there are just so many networks and outlets that need content. Uh, at one point, the statistics are, I think there are over 400 television series being filmed at the moment. Um, so it's Comforting for you. Yes, yes and no. I mean, there's obviously tremendous opportunity to be able to uh, tell all sorts of different types of stories that otherwise would never have made it to the screen. But they, the days of... Um, you have to pitch a cop show, lawyer show, or doctor show are long gone. Now it's uh, pretty much the sky's the limit. If you have a quality show, uh, it's about finding the right, uh, finding the right app outlet for it. That said, as a television writer, now you also are competing against all of the best screenwriters. And, and you know, uh, it, it's crazy. Like, I was, I was the head writer of one Amazon television show and on another Amazon television show, it's Woody Allen. So you're kind of like, uh... You produce on Arrow, correct? I produce? Uh, oh, uh, well, I, I did in, the, in a previous season. Before I joined High Castle, yes, I was a co-executive producer of uh, uh, the television show Arrow. So you, so you know a little bit for Amazon versus TV series that are actually on networks. What do you enjoy more? Well, Man in the High Castle is my 15th or 16th television series, depending on how you count. But um, they're different. They're different formats. Honestly, it's it's uh, um, networks have very specific needs. Uh, commercial breaks. You're you're writing on a certain act structure, which is geared up to cliff, you know little cliffhangers to keep people watching after the shampoo or soap ad. Um, and in a, in a on a, on a format like uh, Man in the High Castle, on Amazon Prime, premium content, there are no ad breaks, and you can really kind of have a lot more quiet moments, a lot more character-driven moments, and that's really fun also. Um, that said, I, I love the network. I, I, it, it's kind of apples and oranges in a way. Speaking of apples and oranges, Apple is now trying to do the same thing as Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, coming up with their own original content. Maybe we'll see some of your series on there? Yes, I think, I think Apple's going to be another buyer in town. It's, it's, uh, it's really shocking. I've, I've, I'm meeting all over town for, for uh, uh, all sorts of things. I mean, now the big players are, are not just HBO in, in the premium world anymore, but you've got you got Netflix and Hulu and Apple's jumping in and it's it's it is honestly a fantastic time to to be the creator and writer of a television show. That's great because us as an audience are wondering that whether it's it's enlightening and exciting or scary because there's there is a lot of competition but also a lot of outreach and opportunity. A absolutely there is a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of need for writers. Um, you just have to know your craft because at the end of the day um, you, you have to be good at what you do, and, and I have found that it is just as hard to make a kind of bad TV show on a bad network as it is to make a good television show on a well, I know. network. So it's always the same amount of work. It's uh, uh, the, the, just learn your craft. Great advice. Thanks so much, Eric. Have fun in there at Thank your you. 
first USC Scripture oh, Awards yes, tonight, and we're wishing you tons of luck. Uh, thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Nicole Brazier with Real TV Films. Stick around. We've got plenty more people like Eric to talk to here at the 29th Annual USC Scripture Awards.